Great. Okay. Well, good morning. This is Vince with Listings to Leads, and uh, we're recording this call. It's a training call for the Realty Group um, and the agents, and we we're kind of starting a series of these, um, but we are going to record this, and I do want to kind of focus on where we are getting the the most results. Um, and I think one thing I'd like to ask is, are your agents there part of our mastermind group? If they can just give me a percentage. Yes. Mastermind group? Yes. Um, some yes, some no. Okay. So if you want to go over how to do that again. That would be great. Yeah, because I'm going to show you some things in here that are coming in just this week. And you definitely want to know that. So first of all, go into your account when you when you get back to your desk and click on this triangle up here that opens up a menu and then you can come down to settings. And when you go to settings, you're gonna see your contact is a primary email address and that should be an email address that Facebook uh, communicates with you. Get that email address, go into your account and go to contact support and paste in that email address and just say, hey, please add me to the mastermind group, all right? And you just click send and that and that's our support team will then put you inside of there and, and you'll get an invite to that email address from Facebook saying you've been asked to join this group. And I recommend that you all do that because uh, I'm going to actually walk us through there real quick. There's some incredible information being shared and our tools are pretty easy. They're automated. Sometimes people get confused. Um, but what we know is that our clients are using our, our tools in a lot of different ways and they're getting um, a lot of leads from it. And that's really where we want you to be is getting a lot of leads. So one other thing inside this mastermind group, there's a tab up here that says files. All right. And if you click files, you're going to see my cheat sheet right here. It's called Vinny's cheat sheet. And it has a couple of things on here because as I go over ideas, um, and what's I think you should be aware of. I don't go over into detail of every little thing we do. This link here in my cheat sheet goes over all of our tools. It's pretty fast. My partner Scott's going, you know, 100 miles an hour, but it does cover all of our tools and sort of the flow of the platform so that you understand what's available to you. How to market your listings talks about how you actually market listings when you have them and how to best optimize them to get as many leads as you can. And then this last one here says Facebook seller lead generation. And that's where you're actually running ads on Facebook. You're building a brand and you're building uh, and you're getting seller lead. That's really what a lot of our clients are, are focused on getting. So I want you to know that that's all right there under the tab section. Okay. And the reason why I'm kind of like stressing this is I, I may have shown this to you in the last call. This came from our mastermind group just I don't know, it was, it was actually a, a couple months ago, but it gives you an example of one agent kind of logging in, looking at his last 30 days of leads and where they're coming from, and we are way up above and beyond all of his other sources combined. And I got on the phone with him last week, actually two weeks ago now, and, I, and I'm going to show you exactly what he's doing with this stuff because it's, it's very simple. Most of it is free. Um, and if you can replicate that, that's just going to help your business. This lady, uh, uh, Nance, uh, would actually wanted us to manage her accounts. We have our own VAs that can do that for you. Um, and we started talking about it and I gave her the instructions. Actually, I gave her the instructions I just showed you, which is my cheat sheet. Uh, and now she's generating a bunch of, bunch of leads just right off of, right, right with Facebook before she was like, you know, this is too difficult for me to learn. And I said, well, okay, well, we can do it for you. And then she said, well, let me try to learn it. And it, within a couple of days, she's out there generating a bunch of, a bunch of leads. So I want to kind of show you why, again, this group can be so useful. This is Patrick. This is the guy who actually generates 800 leads a month. And what's awesome about him, if you find him right here, it's at the top of our mastering group, he's actually saying, hey, I'm targeting these towns with this kind of money. I'm getting this number of clicks and this number of leads. Uh, and then he's giving a little bit of his follow-up. He's also showing you right in the group what his ad looks like. And this is really important because I'm going to show you where the tools are. And I'm even going to show you how to run an ad. 
But really the key is, what does that ad say? Does that ad get clicked on or does it just get ignored because I didn't really put anything compelling? This language here, we train on this, it works time and time again. So it's, it's right inside the mastermind group. Somebody here is talking about their sign writers and I think that woman, Nance, who I showed you a picture, a picture uh, of her stuff earlier. Yeah, so I showed you a little snippet of this on October 23rd. Uh, she was kind enough to just take a snapshot of what she's putting out on the, on the tools. This, these are the tools that she's using to put behind her ads to get 60 leads over the weekend. Now I'm gonna show you, this is a just listed, we call it a, a listing landing page. So let's kind of jump in and see where would we get that, right? Um, I'm gonna go to the listings page in, inside and you all have this inside of your account. So every listing has a number of tools, a single property website, a virtual tour, uh, email campaign, Facebook campaign, but it also has a listing landing page and this is Loretta's open house, right? So this is the listing landing page, you just click on it. When you save an open house, we email it to you automatically, but this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the open house has, a, has kind of a call to action of being time sensitive. I don't know if you can see it on your monitor, but there's an actual clock ticking here by the second to give you some sense of like, hey, this is time sensitive. The way this page works is the consumer can click continue with Facebook. And at that point, and I'm not gonna click it because otherwise uh, she's gonna get my contact information from Facebook as an interested buyer, okay? And I get dropped on the single property website. So let's go look at the single property website. It's actually here. And once you save the open house, both of these tools are emailed to you, all right? This is the open house, same house, kind of different look and feel. When you get an open house like this, and notice the lead capture that pops up is telling us, again, it's time sensitive and, and here's where we capture the lead. Um, we kind of started working together, your company and ours, recently, and I don't know if you saw this, but prior, this is what our lead capture looked like. Type in your name and email. And that's cool, we actually got a lot of leads from that, but we're blown away by how comfortable people are with clicking this button, continue with Facebook. And what that does is we reach into Facebook, we get their contact information, and we deliver it to you. So when you get these tools, when you get a single property website, uh, I definitely want all of you to share them, and you can see underneath here. By the way, I don't know uh, if Loretta chose not to, but she doesn't have a picture inside of her profile, and that's why it's not showing on her marketing tools. Underneath that, though, are these social media icons. Number one place to share is Facebook. So click the Facebook icon, you're gonna see a page pop up, and you can share right there, and, and you can see what it's gonna look like. Open house, it's got the text number built right in, and write something nice about the house and click post. That's really, that's as easy as it is. It probably is gonna take you less than a minute. Um, but everybody, everyone's listing, let's, let's go look at uh, one here from Joe Hovey. These are the tools that that one, you know, agent was saying, hey, I got 62 leads just from, you know, putting these out on the, uh, uh, over the weekend, right? For just to say it's just listed, okay? And that's, that's great. And I would love to hear that all of your agents are generating those kinds of leads every weekend, right? Because that's a few hundred a month. Not everything is going to convert, but a lot will. And you can then get a drip campaign and start working on the rest of them. But I do want to kind of point out this guy. He's kind of the exception because he's generating more than 800 leads in 30 days. And I want to point out what he's actually doing, okay, so that you understand what's going on. Um, he is following my cheat sheet and our strategy of how to build a brand and how to get seller leads on Facebook. And if you want to know how to do that, you can see right here. We're actually going to go over that at a high level, but if you want more details, it's right here. So he's doing that, but he's also doing something that we didn't quite think of. 
right? And, and I think a lot of realtors think of many things um, that we don't. We just build tools and we say, hey, here's how you use them. And, and then realtors take them and go in directions we never thought of and they get great results. And Patrick is one of those people. He takes these same tools, right? He takes the single property websites. He takes the listing landing pages. He takes the open house landing pages. And yes, he does run ads and he boosts them around his area and thousands of people see them and he gets leads. But he also takes these and he copies the hyperlink just like I'm doing right now. And he goes into Facebook into what are called free groups, okay? Now, I don't, <clears throat> I don't remember uh, and I don't know exactly the cities and towns where you build your business, but I'll just give you an example. I live here in Lafayette and there's a Walnut Creek is right next door. And, there's something called Walnut Creek Buy Sell Trade. And what these are, are kind of like garage sale areas, right? You want to buy a, 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 you want to sell an old lawnmower, you want to sell uh, an old car, or you maybe got a washer, you got something that, you know, you just want people to, to buy. They're kind of, that's what these things are, right? East Bay 925 uh, Buy Sell Trade. There are many groups like these. And all this guy Patrick is doing, and actually there are a number of our clients doing it now, is they're joining the group and they're copying our links and they're pasting them in because people are already conditioned to, yeah, I might be wanting to buy something. That's why I joined this group. And people, and, and I've seen it again inside of our mastermind group, people are getting many, many leads from that. And that's just a simple factor of we're creating tools we're emailing it to you automatically. Open up the email, get the single property website, copy the link at the top, and share it out on your on your on those kinds of groups. And lots of people are going to see them. Okay. Now I want to also focus on Facebook, partly for the agent and also for the office, so that you kind of understand some of the core stuff that's going on. These tools like Open House. And, I, and I'm gonna kind of pick on Loretta again. We've, everybody has a column out here that says social media marketing and there's a Facebook icon on it, right? And right now, I'm gonna click on this Facebook button and I can tell, I don't know if you can see, underneath some of the buttons, it's black and underneath some of the buttons, it's green. Green means that the tool hasn't gone out yet, I meaning it hasn't been sent to the agent yet. So I'm gonna, because this one hasn't been sent, I'm gonna actually just update the date here by clicking that button. And that should pop the date inside that box, which it's not. And I'm gonna click send. And what that's gonna do is send this open house tool directly to, uh, to Lauren, to, to Loretta. Okay, and we'll give it a second. It's now saying this was just sent. So now she's actually got the Facebook advertising tool and the open house uh, advertising tool. So let's click it and let's talk about what's, what the whole strategy is behind this. If there's anything that I recommend you do, it's open up every one of your single property websites and click all of the share buttons and share the single property website to all the major social media platforms. Our clients get leads all, all over the place. And it's obviously great for your clients who are homeowners because you're getting it out in front of people who want you to sell their home. Um, and, and for other people who wanna buy one. But when you receive a tool like this, many agents don't know what on earth this thing is, okay? And it's designed to do a couple things. It's designed to get buyers, but it's also designed to get you, the real estate agent, referrals. And I'm gonna show you how that works. All this comes on one email and just copy what's between the two red lines and send that, you can forward the email, but send that to your client, all right? And the way you do that <clears throat> is you just forward it to them and you say, hey, um, client, give them a quick call. So I just sent you an e-flyer and I sent you a Facebook ad. If you could copy the Facebook stuff and put it on your wall, that would be awesome. And what that looks like is they go to their, they log into their own account and they post it like that, and they click post. And I want to kind of explain to you why you want to do that. First of all, I don't know if you can see it, but it says this is just now by me, Vincent Meza, and that's not really what you want 
to have happen. That's going to be your client talking about their home and it's saying we're having an open house on Sunday and Loretta at Realty Group is doing a lot of marketing for it. It's a great turnout. Uh, but please share this uh, with anyone you think might want to see this. Now, there's a couple things. Some people will share it. Some people will click on this, right? And when they click on it, check out the house, what's going on here? I'll give it a second to pull up the single property website. But there's a lot of lead capture for you here, right? Now, I will point out that on this open house, there's not that much lead capture, right? And, and I mean, there's some, we're gonna see the automated thing here and it's gonna say continue with Facebook and capture leads there. But one thing that I would really like to see, let's see if I can do it, is lead generation links. And Jessica or, or whoever's answering questions there, do agents have their own websites in your office or is it just one big office? Uh, site. Um, some agents do have their own personal pages. Okay. From our whole Realty Group website. Yeah. So, for agents that invest in their own websites, they probably want traffic there. And right here, there should be some links underneath here that say like, "This home is for sale in Fairbault," right? So there should at least be a Fairbault Homes for Sale. And let's see here. I, I keep having the lead capture form pop up. But this home is priced at one for uh, 140, almost 145 thousand dollars. You probably want a link over here on the left. Let me see if I can get this to work. Uh, that also says Fairbot Homes under 200k. Because if somebody is looking at this price point, they might be interested in more homes, and those links can point right to your website. And I'll show you an example uh, of that. Let me kind of go through here real quick. So over here on this one with uh, in St. Paul, we can see search all homes for sale. And search all homes for sale should be driving to a website. It's actually driving, I think, to her website, right? Uh, where it, it should also say something. Uh, I don't want to give her my contact information because then she'll be thinking I want to buy this house. And I'm sure it's awesome, but I'm, I'm not in that uh, part of the country. But she should have a link that says, St. Paul Homes for Sale, right right here. And she should have another one that says probably St. Paul Homes under 200K. So that when people click those links, they're driving right to her website where she can ideally get more leads, okay? Can so, you show us where to put in those links? Yeah, when we're looking at the listings right here, right? So um, let's kind of take this example. This property here, is in St. Paul and it's your summer, right? Is It's her listing. I'm, I'm refreshing this. Uh, when I click search all homes, it drives me here and I'm going to assume this is her website. So I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to go back here to her property. And whenever you log in, you can do this yourself. There's a green button. Oh, you lost the sound? Okay. Yeah, uh, we're back now. If you just want to go back a few seconds. Okay. So, Start over. Yeah. So we're looking at this property. And we know it's in St. Paul. I know when I click search all homes, it drives me to this website. So I'm assuming this is yours home. So I'm going to copy the link here. And I'm going to go back to my property. So when you log in, every one of your listings has a button here that says, if you hover over, it says select links. So when we click select links, let's see what happens. So she's actually got some links created, but I'm going to paste this right here. And I'm going to call this St. Paul Homes for Sale. And I'm going to make it active so that this is active for this one property. Free home values is always active for her. And search all homes is, is always active for it. It looks like it's default links. And I'm going to make one more. Let's see if I can do that. Add more links right here. Paste in right to her homepage. Make it active. And I'm going to say St. Paul Homes under 200K. And I'm going to save. 
see here. Is that it? Yeah, it's working. When we save it, it brings us to a reorder page. And I'll tell you, um, these links, we call them lead gen links. They go on the side of the single property websites. They go on your e-flyers. They go on your blog posts. They go on your branded virtual tours. And they're even embedded in the mobile optimized tools. And that's great. But I'm going to save and close this. Let's look at this again now. Well, actually, we can just refresh it right here. In general, I'd say 20% of people that look at your tools will click a link like this. But when you put price point breakouts like St. Paul Homes under 200K, maybe underneath it, St. Paul Homes from 200 to 400K, I've seen clients get a 50% click-through rate. Large offices get a 50% click-through rate with hundreds and hundreds of listings. That's pretty awesome. Uh, notice that when we click that link, it's pushing right over to her property search page, which is where she wants people to be. So this is, a, is something that you really want to take advantage of, is getting people that maybe are interested in property, but not that particular home to go, oh, I want to see more homes. And you've given them the call to actions to do that. So here, I'm going to click on the eFlyer button. And I am going to send, uh, let's see when it was just listed. It's just listed. Oh, yeah, it's pretty recent. So I'm going to send this. And that's going to send the just listed eFlyer and the Facebook ad directly to your. And she can now take advantage of it. All right. So I'm going to click view. And we're going to see what yours get what yours getting right now. She actually gets something like this. And there's a message above it that says, hey, forward this to your client. And notice we're trying to build a referral base. There's a pre-written message, not from your, but from the homeowner to their friends. And so it says, dear friends, we've hired your at Realty Group to sell our home. She's created this flyer to increase marketing exposure. To, and we would appreciate it if you forward it to as many people as possible to help us get sold faster, right? We would do the same for you. Then of course, is the home just listed, right? And then there are all these links that inside the email can be clicked on and drive from the email again to your website, all right? So there are a couple of things going on there. One, you can capture leads with an e-flyer today. We can point people right to your website. And two, these are designed for your clients to reach out and say, hey, uh, I've got, you know, I'm, I'm working with this other realtor from Realty Group. And when they forward it out via email or, for, or via Facebook, probably hundreds of people are going to see your name and recognize that you're a realtor. And those hundreds of people are probably the people you're going to get referrals for, right? It's going to be the friends and family that these people are communicating with. Most people communicate far more frequently on Facebook than they do on via email. But we, whenever we do an open house email, we basically want to make sure you get an open house flyer as well. Does that make sense how that piece works? And do we need to go over again how to create links to your site? Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay, so I see some some people here. Uh, uh, is anybody in there? Jamie Hovey or Joe Hovey is in that office right now? No. Okay, no. All right, well, let's just look. Uh, here's Joshua. Let's look at Joshua's single property website and see what he's doing. These things get uh, set up automatically. Nice home, 185,000, Coon Rapids, right? And when I click on that search all homes, this looks like his page, right? This is, I think this is particularly for him, or is this the office page? Office. Office, okay. So I don't know if he has his own page. Is there anybody in there that has their own website? No. None of us have that one. Okay. Um, well, it would be the same sort of thing, but let's just sort of, let's take okay. this. Check Dan Balter. What's that? Uh, can you look at Dan Balter's listing? I think he has his own. Okay, let's look at it. I think this might be a property, uh, a, a land property, because the address says four X's. Oh. 
but that's okay. Let's just look at it and see what, what we've got here. It does look like a lot. I clicked on search all homes and this is pointing to the company website. Yeah, maybe not everybody has it set up yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, the point is, when you get your website, and some people have you know strong sites that can convert traffic, you can take advantage of, of those links to get to people, right? And, and get them to get in. Because if, let's just say we took a branded virtual tour and you put it out on Zillow and Trulia, and somebody clicks and sees your property on Zillow and Trulia, there are a couple of things that can happen there. One, if they like it, they can click I want more information and they're gonna collect that lead information and sell it ideally to you uh, and probably three other agents at the same time, right? If they are also interested, they might click on a virtual tour if it's available and our virtual tour is gonna have all those links that I keep talking about. So in a way, you can divert people off of Zillow and off of Trulia and other web pages and drive them back to your website, right? If you've got a website that you want to point to, or in this case, we're, we're pointing people to the office. But I do recommend that you take advantage of those links. And I don't see anybody um, with a just sold property. Is there anyone in the, in the room that has anything that's sold in the past couple months? No? All right, well, I'm gonna jump out of this and go to mine, because actually just sold advertising in listings to leads is super, super powerful in terms of getting more listings for you, okay? So it's quick to, to change something to just sold. I'm gonna click go to the listings page. We're just in my demo account here. And you can see that this home is a active open house. I'm gonna click the edit button and I'm gonna change the listing status from active to just sold. And the reason why I wanna do that is that the just sold call to action, the lead capture form, is all about getting more listings. And you're gonna see it in just a second. So I'm saving here. And you can see that, well, it says it's open house. I should actually have cleared that. Let's clear that so it doesn't look confusing to us. Delete open houses. Save. Yeah, I want to delete the open house. Um, the just sold advertising, you know how there's that connection with your client. Let's look at that. So the single property website, when you make something just sold, by all means, share this to your social media. And the number one place to share is Facebook for lead capture. The number two place is Pinterest, and I recommend everybody share this to LinkedIn as well. The buttons are right underneath your picture. You just click the button, write a, a, so, a social message. But notice the lead capture form is saying, and I've got two emails here uh, popped up that are just the tools being automatically sent to me because I changed the status and it gives me instructions on what to do with it. But I'm kind of telling you what to do with it. Share them, right? Get them on social media. Because once somebody clicks on it, the first thing it says is, this home sold and that's gonna affect your home value, click here to get your home value. And if people put their address in and click go, you're gonna get their address and contact information, okay? Again, you change that by clicking the first button and you, and you change that to just sold. Once it's done, hopefully I didn't lose my place. I, I already showed you that I did get a couple of emails, but I wanna point out the Facebook one because this is huge for lead capture and also huge for you getting more referrals and more business. This, get, this already is in my mailbox, but I want you to see it here. Again, you may be confused of what this actually is, and what you wanna do is forward what is between the red lines to your client and ask them to post it to their website, so let's, or to their Facebook page. So it would look like this. Again, pretty simple. Copy, paste. We'll give it a second. 
and you're gonna notice that it's basically from me, but this, in the future, it would be from your client, and it won't be talking about me at L to L Realty, it's gonna be talking about you at Realty Group. And it says, uh, thank you for doing an excellent job, we recommend them to help you buy or sell a home, and there's your name and phone number uh, and your email right up front, okay? So this is a pre-written testimonial, automatically sent to you, forward it to your client, ask them to put it up on their wall. Most people that are on Facebook, they've got a few hundred friends. Some of those are colleagues, some of those are family, and those are the people that you're ideally gonna get some business with, right? That's the whole point of referrals. When you click on that, and let me know, I think I lost your audio again. So just to finish while we're waiting for you guys, <laughs> your audio to get back on. This is the single property website behind the ad on Facebook, right? So we send the ad to you, forward it to your client, copy your, uh, give them a quick call, say, hey, I just sent that to you. Could you copy and paste that and put it on your Facebook wall? And when they do, when you click on it, when anybody clicks on it, this page pops up and three to five seconds, and you can actually control that, uh, three to five seconds later, the lead capture uh, pops up, offering them to get a free home value, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna take a break here because I think I lost your audio. Okay, yeah, I can see you lost your audio again. We'll, we'll give it a second. You're back. Yes, yeah, we're back. Okay. So, um... I, I'll, I'll kind of repeat myself there, but basically, we when, once you change your home to just sold, we're going to email you an e-flyer and a Facebook ad. I highly recommend you you use the Facebook piece at, at the bare minimum. E-flyers too, but the, the Facebook one just gets in front of hundreds of people, and it's a pre-written testimonial. Forward this to your client. Ask your client to paste this on their wall, just like I did, and when anybody clicks on it, it opens up the single property website, right? And when that single property website opens up, in about three to five seconds, a lead capture form is gonna pop up talking about, hey, it's sold, get your home value also, right? You can get the closing price, you can get a list of similar homes, and we'll give it a second, it's kind of slowing, and, and, and there we go, or get your home value, right? And that's really why the just sold advertising is just, incredibly powerful. So again, that's a great tool to just get out there and share on all your social media. I wanna kind of point out, this is our open house landing page and there is a landing page for just sold, right? This is a listing landing page. It's out here to the right. I think I'm losing you again, I'm not sure. But this one says this home just sold and you can get your valuation right here uh, since this is going to affect you, and, and it's the same thing. So a number of different ways to market and to capture leads. This yes. I ask you. So the copy that you selected there for the just sold copy that you forward to your client and ask them to post on Facebook. Yeah. I noticed. Were you just selecting copy, or how did that pop? the photo and stuff in there. I didn't see any HTML or anything. Did you send them a link along with that copy? Yeah, or? yeah. I'm going to do it again. So I, I'm clicking here, as you can see, the Facebook icon on the listings page. So this occur. you get a just listed flyer, you get a, a, a virtual tour flyer, you get an open house. If you go in pending or contract, 
So if you're taking advantage of it, it, it always looks similar, but there's a different message. I'm going to click view and I actually have this in my email right now. So let's see if I can expand it. Yeah. Um, it looks like this. The message that you get looks like this. You see that there is a hyperlink here at the bottom and all of this is the information you want to get to your client. When you receive this email, personally speaking, I think it's too wordy and too busy and it asks, it's asking you, the realtor, to read this and to understand this and that's where we lose about 90% of you, right? That's why, that's why I'm pointing out how this thing actually works. Everything between these two red lines, make sure this content gets to your homeowner because all they have to do is copy it like I'm copying it now and have them go to their own Facebook wall and right click and paste. And it looks just like that. Do you see that? Do you understand this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All they got to do is click post. And once that happens, that is a straight up pre-written testimonial for you. Now, for anybody of their hundreds of friends that are following them on Facebook, if they click on that, the single property website pops up. Okay. Now this is true. This is how the, the Facebook ad works for the open house and just listed. So for all of you, th this is going to open up, you know, the single property website. We wait three seconds. Uh, uh, an option to get your home value is right there. And that's how that works. Right. But I kind of want to point out if you're trying to build your business, of course you want more listings, but if you're selling homes, you also want more buyers. Even if you're doing an open house for somebody else, you want buyers, right? So of all the, the statuses that I recommend you take advantage of, I'm going to click on edit listing here. This is where you see the statuses. Just listed is obvious, right? You get a listing, market that and make and, and it'll, you'll actually receive the single property website automatically in your email. And you'll also receive the tool that's designed for your client to share. And it's going to have slightly different message, but just take what's between the red lines and get it to your client. All right. There are multiple statuses. Every time it hits, you're, it's going to be just listed and you're going to automatically get that, that, um, that message for Facebook and for email. If you can, and, and, uh, you know, do an open house. And I'll tell you, there was a, there was a lot of discussion about two years ago from NAR and, and uh, about, is it really worth your homeowner's time for you, the agent, to have an open house? And I would say, and they were actually making the case that it's not. And I would say that for the average realtor, it is a waste of time because you're just sitting there for hours and nobody's coming through. But if you use all the tools that we have and the way you get those tools is to actually click here, set the date and time, and we send you five tools for social media, for email, for blogs, Craigslist. Our, our clients get a bunch of a bunch of leads even before they get to the to the open house. Um, but that open house also has a similar message for Facebook, saying, "Hey, Vince is holding our home open today, or you're holding a home open for Realtor Group, and please share this with anybody you think is is interested." That is that's basically telling your clients, friends, and family and colleagues that they're working with you. And those are the people you hope to get referrals from. Of course you want more buyers, but you also want those other people to know that you're a professional helping them sell a home, right? So a great, another good time to market it is either pending or under contract, whatever your MLS rules are, because that lead capture is just like, just sold. It says, hey, uh, and the messaging on pending is pretty cool. Actually, uh, I'm gonna do it under contract and, and I'll show you it. What, why it, why it is really, I think, a really uh, great message. The different timing, you know, for us at Listing Still Leads, we always, whenever our clients are doing something, we want them to get a lead, right? Agents do many things. They send emails out, they, they, they do all these things, and most of it is great from a branding perspective. But it's almost useless from a lead gen perspective, and so that's really what, what we concentrate on. So over here, you can see this home is under contract, and I'm gonna click on the Facebook ad right here, 
And now you can see I've got an under contract listing for Facebook. Let's view it. It's gonna look, the message is almost identical. And this is why realtors get lost. It's like, oh, why am I seeing the same thing? You know, if I got three or four listings, wow, what's going on? But here it is. This is the message. We got an offer on our home. It's now under contract. Thank you, Vincent Meza at Lafayette, at Lafayette Realty for all your hard work and continuing marketing until our home is sold. Okay, so what it's saying is this home is in contract and I am not going to give up until the home is sold. I don't know if you can see my email popping up. These are the automated tools, the eFlyer and the Facebook app that I should be sharing. And so when you get it, what do you do? You copy what's between the red lines, right? And then what do you do next? You forward that to your client and you say, hey client, could you please put that on your Facebook wall for me? You can put some version of that and you can put the single property website right up there. But notice, I'm gonna post it again. It's saying right and bright red, it's under contract. So right now, if your client puts that out there, what their client is telling their friends is you know how to sell a home. It's under contract. And it's saying, we got an offer, it's under contract, and you are still working until it's sold. Okay, so it's just we're doing this to help you get referrals. I think everybody prefers referrals to online leads. So that's why we do it, right? What happens when I click on that? When your clients, friends and family and colleagues click on that, it's the home and it says under contract. What happens in three seconds? We give them a chance to get their home value. All these tools get emailed to you automatically the, the second you save your status okay you click edit listing you choose your status you go to the bottom and you save it and bam you get two tools one for eFlyer and one for Facebook does that make sense there yes yes, yes. okay and you can see that and, and I'll tell you this from an office perspective you know I don't know exactly Coon Rapids and I don't, I, I don't think you're in an area where there's like a million people living, right? I, I don't know. I could be wrong there. But maybe in the county there are. But if you've got a couple hundred listings and you as agents are sharing this out, you're going to develop a pretty big uh, awareness in your market because the, the, the clients that you have in those areas have friends and family in those areas. And everybody's going to start to get familiar with you and the realty group. And I think the time that you can do that, that's really about taking, you know, that that's that's how you take, you know, part of the business away. I, I set up a lot of offices and, you know, I have clients spending thousands of dollars on all kinds of great fun stuff for real estate advertising. And then they find us and they're like, oh, I just cut our budget down to like next to nothing. We're paying you and we're taking market share from our competitors. They do that by using our tools, okay? Uh, you can pay for the tools and not use them and they're not really effective at all. They, don't, they do very little. But if you use these tools, they're really, really powerful. So the last piece is the landing pages. Has anybody in this room looked at our landing pages or used them? No. No. Okay. So I need you all to watch this because this, this page right here, Property Valuation Plus, listing leads we have about 10 to 20 agents from around the country sign up every day just to get this one tool because it is the number one tool to get a listing off the internet this is what is your Lafayette home worth right because I, I live in Lafayette you don't live in Lafayette so when you come to the landing page section this is what you do you decide and you probably have four or five different towns or neighborhoods you want to build your business right but let's just say one is Coon Rapids and I guess I did this last week type in Coon Rapids and click save now I'm not gonna do it because if I save it again it's gonna make up a, another one but what ha what happens once I save it let's click on the FISBO landing page let's click on the FISBO button over here at the bottom I have a, a Coon Rapids landing page Okay, C landing page. And this is this would have your banner up top, right? Your realty group banner. 
And it says, just because you're selling your home yourself doesn't mean your marketing has to suffer. Would you like some free advertising tools? Sure, click, what do you want, right? And then you click next and it asks for the address. Then you click next and it says, great, what's your contact info? Why do people do this? Our clients do it because in about, on average, I've seen in two months, the homeowner hands the property to the agent. I don't want to manage this process, right? That's a, and you can find FISBOs on Craigslist. You can find them on Zillow. There may be other resources you, that you have. But basically what I'm trying to point out is that once you save the word Coon Rapids, it creates a Coon Rapids page under every one of these buttons. That means you have a Coon Rapids page for empty nesters. You have a Coon Rapids page for growing families. And most importantly, you have a Coon Rapids page for property valuation plus. All right. And down here, let's see, I've got my Coon Rapids. Da, da, da. What is my coon? This is the generic look of uh, of the property uh, valuation page, right? And this is what it's way more effective when you have a picture that is important to your to your area. Are there any landmarks in Coon Rapids? Nope. Nope. The dam. The dam. Yeah. Coon Rapids Dam. Cool. 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 Let's look at that. Cool. This is how you do it, All right? Now I'm gonna give you this recording so you can see this, you can jump right to it. Click on images, click on tools, click on size, larger than, and go to 2MP. And uh, does that look like it? Let's just, yep. yeah. So let's just say view image right click save image save it to your desktop uh cancel go here click edit and upload that picture all right and the background image right here it says choose file you choose that file boom it's going to upload it and change this kind of generic coffee cup laptop notebook thing to the picture of the dam and once you've done that now you take it out to Facebook. Has anybody there run ads on Facebook? Yes. Uh, a couple have, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna run an ad right now. I know we're running a little bit long, so I'm, but I, I am gonna do it because I want you to see it for once. Copy, I'm gonna go to Facebook. Oh, I lost my place. Give me a second here. And I'm going to give you my uh, my sell point for uh, our mastermind group because Facebook advertising is by far the number one place for capturing leads. If you go to our mastermind group and you join it, how I showed you earlier in the call today, you will go. If you go to files, you're going to see my cheat sheet right there. Boop, boop, boop. Let's open it up. And this whole thing about what I'm about to show you is covered right here under Facebook seller lead generation. How to generate the page and how to customize the, the, uh, the photograph in the back, right? And even how to get the photograph. I just showed you, we did it on Google, I clicked a couple buttons, how to put it, and now the next thing is, well, now that I've uh, optimized it and I'm kind of shortcutting it, how do we get this to Facebook, right? So it's all covered on that video. And this is us running an ad. Up here is a little uh, triangle, create ads. You do need a business page. And ideally you have a, a real estate business page. Um, and you always want to drive, okay, okay, hold on a second. Start over, okay. You always want to drive for traffic. And I'm gonna point this out because a lot, there's a lot of gurus out there and on real estate advertising, uh, and especially with Facebook, and I hear a lot of things. I had somebody tell me they were going for conversions. You, some people want likes or brand awareness. No, no, you want traffic. And what traffic means is that they're gonna run the ad, people can click on the ad, 
And when people click on the ad, they're going to land on the landing page you want or any page, right? So I am going to kind of uh, skip over a little bit of the details here because I, I know this is all kind of confusing for a lot of folks. But I'm going to type in here Coon Rapids. And it shows me Coon Rapids on a map, but it also says plus 25 miles. But because this page only talks about Coon Rapids, I want to make sure, now that I'm lost, that I don't go out on a 25 mile radius, I click current city only. What this is doing is it's saying they have to live in Coon Rapids, and I'm putting a minimum age, you can put whatever minimum age you want. They have to see that, and and they have to live in, in Coon Rapids to see that page. That's all it's telling us. Now I'm kind of clicking around, you want to change it to daily budget, you want your budget to be $30. That's my recommendation. When you're trying to get listings, always start on Friday. So today's Thursday, you might actually have a, a couple minutes to get your landing page and your picture sorted out. Always end it on the following Monday. That's basically three days of advertising for about 10 bucks each. And notice over here, speaking of daily reach, it's telling us that we're gonna reach about somewhere between 700 and 2300 about 15 people uh, 1500 people every day so for 30 bucks about 30 about 4500 people are going to see your ad and they live in Coon Rapids and in this case they're over 25 years old or something like that okay and the way you do it is you paste right here it says what's your website destination you paste it in this is the mobile news feed, but change it to desktop news feed. You always want this to be on desktop. Again, it is in the details. Now, this has a picture of what the landing page looks like, right? This is gonna be sponsored by you, you as the realtor, all right? And it's gonna have whatever background picture you choose. We did this generic one, this generic background picture here, because we know realtors don't really, you know, just the concept of putting a picture in the background sometimes flustered them. So we're, we're like, well, let's just give them something generic that they can use. And yes, you can use it. It is generic. It does not, however, work very well. And I'm going to give you an example. And if you've heard it from me before, my apologies. I set up uh, the offices around the country and I do this call for our offices over and over. And the manager called me after I set up uh, Cobalt Banker in New Jersey and said, Vince, we're running ads all over, we're getting all these ads, and this is the number one ad that's getting clicked on for home values. And that's because this old diner, which is a converted rail car, has been in town on Main Street forever. And if somebody sees this on Facebook, they know you know their neighborhood. And I wanna point that out to you because a lot of realtors feel like there's something, whatever you think is like right or correct about real estate advertising, I need to point out to you that what we're talking about here is you p dropping a page on Facebook that says, give me your address and give me your contact information. And as you're probably aware, we're not comfortable doing that, right? So for me, Lafayette, everybody knows this, right? This is the reservoir where everybody walks their dog and they get their kids in their strollers and they're jogging on the weekends, all that. Everybody knows this little reservoir, right? We're a small town of 25,000 people. Over here, everybody, again, small town in New Jersey, everybody knows this diner because it's been there for over 50 years. So you want to create a comfort level, and that's, that's really the point of that. Um, and so this will not really do that well. Now, back to our mastermind group, this language, find out your value of your uh, Coon, Coon Rapids home now, that's actually not very good language at all for Facebook advertising, okay? And if you don't recall, I'm gonna take us back to our Facebook mastermind group and show you some great language that works over and over. And we keep training on this, and that's why we're training on it today, so that you guys understand that you don't have to think up the language yourself. You just get to our mastermind group. Give me a second. And you go copy the ideas that our clients are sharing with each other. 
all right? And I think Patrick's got one right here, right here, right? And he's telling you, I'm getting, you know, all these listing leads. And he's actually written right here, 71 homes sold in September in Longwood. The highest sold price was this. Your home value has changed. Click image to get an updated home value instantly. Thank you, moving. This is the language, okay? So how do you affect your ad? How do you change this? Down here on the left, it starts like this. 50 homes sold in Coon Rapids. The rest you copy from there, right? I, I don't know if you can see this, but the language has changed here. Does that make sense? Everybody yes. follow what I'm doing? Yes. Okay. Yep. yep. So the last step to running this ad is you click confirm. And at the end of the ad, uh, at the end, at the end of the three days, you're going to get an email from Facebook and it's going to say, congratulations, you had a successful ad. You, had, you ran a successful ad campaign on Facebook. And what that means is that you were successful in giving Facebook money. It does not mean you were successful in capturing leads. So I want you to understand what is important when measuring your success, because they give you that right, right in the email. They said you were successful. You had this ad, it looked like this, it went out. It had a reach of X number of people. For us, I already showed you that the reach is going to look about 4,500 people, right? That means they saw it, okay? It's right here, estimated daily reach, about 1,500 people a day, three days. So, you know, a reach of four to 5,000 people are gonna see that. It's also gonna say website clicks, and that's the key metric you want to understand. Website clicks means how many people saw my ad and clicked on it, okay? And that's, that's, that's a real number, they can measure it. Now, if you don't get a lot of website clicks, but you have a good reach, you wanna make sure you've done this in desktop only, not on mobile. Um, but the key factors is your language is not compelling. And I actually showed you where the compelling language is in our mastermind group to get it. And, Every week, our clients are writing ads up there to tell you, this this ad just got, got it, and, and this is my picture. Or your picture is not happening, and I just showed you how to get a picture, right? So that's really it. That's Those are the, the key things that, that affect your success on Facebook. I want to point out, because a lot of people don't know this about Facebook, this does not have to do with your friends on Facebook. It actually doesn't even have to do with, does my business page have anything on it? You could have absolutely zero on your business page. I'd at least suggest you have a, a, a logo or your picture on it, right? Bare minimum. What you do need is 25 people to like the page, okay? That gives Facebook the, the understanding that you're not going to be spamming their website uh, with ads and that you don't know anybody. So. You do need 25 people to like it, and you can just ask your friends to like it. And at that point, you're branding off of that business page. And the ad doesn't show up on your business page, it shows up right here. When we run an ad like that, it shows up right in the middle column. So people cannot avoid this ad. They log in, they're gonna see it, all right? That's really what we're after here, is to get great reach for you, get your brand out there so people know uh, that you're there. Uh, and then of course to get leads, right? That's really what, what it's all about, we're listing some leads. So uh, any questions? I know I kind of rambled on here for a little bit too long, but can I answer any other questions for you? So, so you need, um, if you're developing a business Facebook page, you need 25 people to like it before you can advertise. I, that is correct. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then you had uh, made a comment about the best time um, to run ads for seller leads is uh, Friday and end on Monday. I remember from a previous... Um, session that we had. You had some other, I can't remember if it was for open houses or for buyer leads, but you had some other dates too that. Yeah. Okay. So let me, uh, I understand and, and I'm glad you asked that question. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's go back. I'm sorry to, to I, I'm, I'm a little repetitive in, in calls like these because I think it's, it's just valuable for the call. Inside my mastermind group is Vinny's cheat sheet. And in Vinny's cheat sheet, it talks about Facebook advertising, which covers exactly the answer to your question. But let me answer the question for you. So go to files, Vinny's cheat sheet, the third link is Facebook advertising. And it covers exactly what you just asked, but I wanna answer your question right here, right now. The strategy of Facebook for us is to build your business. And there are two ways of doing that, two concepts to think of, branding and lead capture, okay? Now seller lead capture is just like I showed you, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, with property valuation landing pages, or possibly just sold landing pages, because you notice that the just sold advertising tools have home value lead capture in it. But our strategy, and we know it works, and it works across the country, <clears throat> is during the week, run an, one, at least one ad. And you do it almost identical to what we just did, but you run that ad with a single property website, or you run the ad with a listing landing page, right? This is a single property website or an open house, right? So you would copy the link at the top of this page and you would run an ad just like I did. The only difference, and the difference is covered, is you remember how I just did it, you had to live in Coon Rapids. And, and I would rather, if I was doing an open house, I'd say you have to live in Coon Rapids and with a 10 mile radius or maybe a, even a 25 mile radius. That's the difference. You run one ad for either an open house or something just listed or something under contract or something just sold every week. That ad is for four days for $20, okay? With that, probably about 4,000 people are going to see that you're a realtor. It's gonna be branded to your business page, right? And yes, they can click and you can get buyer leads. But really what we're trying to do is get your name out there in front of everybody that lives in, in Coon Rapids or any of these towns so that they know you're, you're a professional in real estate. That's $20 every week. And you usually, you know, and so if the open house is on Saturday and Sunday, well, you can start it on Wednesday or Thursday and have it end on that. And then maybe you're overlapping with your seller lead capture for a couple of days. That's, that's perfectly fine. So that is really the strategy is one $20 ad every week one $30 ad every weekend, four weeks, that's about $200. I would recommend that budget, and I recommend it every day to people that I speak with who are beginner agents, no business. Like, I'm new, I don't have any business, I don't know how I'm gonna grow my business, I would tell you, get our tools, borrow some listings, and run buyer ads, build your brand during the week, and put in you know 30 bucks on the weekend and get some listings. If you're an agent with more listings, right, three or four or five, and you want to turn that into, you know, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten at a time, run more ads, run more branding ads, right? So every listing you should have out there, you know, for just a, a few days, four days. So that what you can imagine is if you've got three or four ads running during the week, each for 20 bucks, it's going to be hard for people to avoid you on Facebook. 71% of people in the United States, I'm sorry, 71% of adults are on Facebook, all right? Um, and they spend on average 40 to 50 minutes every day on Facebook. They're scrolling through on their phones, they're looking at it when they're in line at Starbucks, they're even in their car looking at it, and even people sitting in meetings like this are looking at their Facebook phones and looking at what's going on. And that's why you brand there for 20 bucks every week. Like I said though, if you've, got, if you've got a bigger business, our clients do exactly what I'm telling you. And what they tell us is they're getting phone calls out of the blue from people in their areas because they see them all over Facebook. You're making it crystal clear that you're a professional if you're running three or four ads because I see you all the time. I got an open house here. I just sold here. Here's something just listed. That is really a powerful way of getting in front of people for relatively little amount of money. Um, just to give you some numbers, and I cannot be exact because I don't know the little towns that you're operating around, 
But when our clients are spending 200 bucks a month, which is, as I said, I consider a minimum, uh, they're getting somewhere between one and 200, sometimes even more leads every month, all right? When our clients start spending three and four and 500, they are generating, you know, a lot of leads, like hundreds, 300, 400, sometimes even, even more than five and 600 leads every month. But I do also wanna recommend that you take these tools and you put them in the, fa in the free Facebook groups like I mentioned earlier, right? Um, do not forget that because that, a, a lot of our clients are starting to do that. I, I kind of gave you the message of Walnut Creek, buy, sell, trade. Your areas have a lot of what you call them, kind of garage sale groups. And you can just put things there, you'll get, you're just gonna get leads through it, right? You build that database, you get more buyers, um, and, and, and that's key. So there are a lot of ways to capture leads with our system. The key is to just to use the tools. And then how do you use someone else's listing? Um, if your listing is, uh, let's say you're, you're um, I'm gonna hold an open house for you. Right, you say, Vince, I got a listing, but I can't be there. Can you hold the open house? It's on Sunday. Say, sure, go here. I'll log into my own account, click grab active listing. And I would say, what's the zip code and the MLS ID? And if the listing is active for sale on Trulia, as it says right here, we will grab the listing, including the photographs, and we'll push it in your, in your account. And then you can just change the status to open house and bang, all those tools that I've been showing you are all there. Okay. The, the branded with your own personal Correct. And all the lead generation links pointing to your website will be obviously designed to capture leads for you. Uh, you know, if you want, you can also, in the, in the property description, say this listing is courtesy of you, right, not me. Are there any other questions before we wrap up? No. All right. All right. I think we're good as far as questions go. Okay. So I'm going to give you a little, um, I know we'll do this call again. Uh, not sure when. There are a couple of things I want to point out. And I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of now. Because you're starting to understand lead generation links, hopefully you do have websites that can capture leads. This is the signature blog that can be copied by clicking copy for email here and insert it into your blog, or not into your blog, into your um, email, whether you use Gmail, Outlook, AOL, Yahoo. This can be a workable signature bar that all these links are pointing to your website or getting home values for you, things like that, all right? Next time I wanna talk about that so that we understand how to get a hold of that. And there's also a very cool tool in here, uh, and there's an awesome strategy to use it. Uh, and I'll talk a little bit about it next time, but just to give you an idea, we if you click on listings and listing website, this page here has all of your listings, whether you borrowed the listings or not. And one of our clients, actually uh, an older gentleman from Naples, Florida, <laughs> puts this page, this is his, this is mine, and this is my demo one, so it's not really real. But this is his, he puts this on Craigslist every day, a few times a day. And he generates right now about 50 leads every week for free on Craigslist. When he first started this, and I set up their office around four years ago, he was generating 50 leads a day with this tool. And for some reason, it's taken a little bit to pull up. And 50 leads a day is a ridiculous number. Just so is 800 leads in a month. I'm, I'm, I'm blown away and that's why I had to get on the phone with him. Um, but the point is, if this page ever comes up, is he puts it, for, uh, puts it on a number of ads on Craigslist every day and he borrows some listings, some of the listings are his own and he's really optimized all of his lead capture, his, his, his lead gen links on the left. And he gets today, because he's been fishing the Naples Pond, which is Southwest Florida uh, 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 Craigslist, for years now. So he's gone from you know 50 leads a day to 50 leads a week. But 200 leads a month for free for running this is pretty awesome. So we'll talk about that next time. 
Okay, everybody, hey, hey. thanks for your time. I will get this recording up and we will, uh, and I'll send that off to you. Thanks everybody, have a great weekend. Sounds, Sounds good, thank you. Bye-bye.